Hey guys, welcome back to Till Back and Do Us Part. Okay, we're about to head out to run a few errands, but I did wanna mention, this is a collab with Caitlin. I absolutely love her channel here on YouTube. I was watching her before I even started my own channel. Um, her eye for like creating content and like filming and taking like photography, like photos is just gorgeous. I don't know, I always see it and think, why didn't I think of that? But definitely check her out. I promise you will not be disappointed. She is a mama to one little girl named Scarlett. Um, they're both beautiful blondes and like I said you will not be disappointed she does a lot of like day in the life style content over on her channel um, I'm gonna link her video and her channel down below so definitely head on over there after watching my video and if you're new welcome my name is Ashley I'm a wife to my husband Chase and then I have one daughter and her name is Savannah and I homeschool her um, but now let's go ahead and get into today's video two dogs that have the best life ever. What you doing, George? Go to scratch. See a tiger. You can tell he's not too happy with life right now. <laughs> but he's fine. And then George. Got a hair in your eye. Okay, so we're in the car now. We're actually headed to Sam's. So we used to have a Sam's club card. What do you call it? Membership? Yeah. Membership. Um, and then we haven't had it for a long time and all of our neighbors keep raving about it. So we finally got one and we're gonna head there. Um, we're actually hungry and so we're gonna eat there because we hear the food's good. Yes. And then we're gonna pick up some stuff. So I'll definitely, um, I don't know how much I'll film inside. I don't know if it's gonna be crazy. And if there's music, it's really hard to get footage. Um, but I will do a haul at the end because we kind of have a list of stuff we want to pick up. Um, Can't wait for this food at Sam's Club. We have one right across from my work. So me and the guys will go over there for lunch and they've got pizza slices that are massive for like a dollar 25 and uh, hot dogs Nathan's hot dogs which are huge and they're a dollar and you can add a drink for like 50 cents so I can eat you know a pizza slice a hot dog and a drink for 350 it's amazing so date nights is gonna be at Sam's Club <laughs> now, is what I'm hearing how about date lunch not date, date night lunch. okay so that's where we're headed now okay we made it to Sam's Sam's time and of course there's Boy Scouts everywhere selling popcorn <laughs> we can't go anywhere without being attacked we've already got ours <laughs> Look at those prices. <laughs> okay, so for that big old drink and a big old pizza, it's what, two, $2.49. It's a really good deal. Okay, we've been needing new chairs because we sit out with our neighbors and they don't have OSU, but they're orange. Why don't you sit in it? Try it out. Ooh, that's comfortable. So it's good? Yeah, it's got the cup holder right here. Or phone holder. <laughs> or the phone holder. <laughs> they have that it's ugly, okay. Crimson for OU, but we like the orange Is for OSU. Close enough to this color? I think it's good. I think that's perfect. It's pretty close. Does it feel good? It does. It feels a lot better than ours. Good. Okay, so this is the dog food we use for both of our puppies now. Tiger doesn't go through much, but obviously George is going through more. So if we were to get seven of our normal bags, it would be $77. And here it's only $43. For so the for same the poundage. same pound of food, we're gonna spend 43 instead of 77. So Not that bad. just paid for our- $34 right there, difference. Yeah, so that paid for our membership here. That's a good deal. All in one. I'll take it. I'm curious to see how long this will last us. It should last a long time. <laughs> it should. <laughs> the car is filling up. I'll definitely show you guys at the end what all we get. So this is escalating quickly. <laughs> We're not gonna have to buy groceries for like six months. <laughs> Sorry. I think it looks good. For 25 bucks, that's an amazing price too. Please watch the ads on this video because we're spending all of our money. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best deal you found though on a brown jacket like that. We'll try to link that for everybody. And then the loading begins. I was in no way expecting to spend how much we just spent. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'll do a whole haul as soon as we get home because we gotta go check on the dogs. OMG, this turned into like a Sam shop with me. <laughs> what did we spend? That was a dig deep. I know you guys are always talking about different places like this and we used to have a cart here, but I guess we didn't think we needed it anymore and now that we came back, we just there was just so much good stuff. Oh, we've mean, been needing uh, chairs, you know, to replace yes. our OSU one. So that was kind of, that was like $45 we weren't expecting right there. But we'd been on the hunt for them. Yes. So we were going to be spending that anyways. We just had no idea we'd find them at Sam's. And then my jackets, I have been looking for everywhere. And that was a good deal for $25 each for leather jackets. Well, and the cheapest I can normally, and I don't, they're not probably real leather, no. but they feel great. Leather. They feel like real leather. Um, but the cheapest I've ever found them is like 40 and 50 and I got two, you know, for $25 each. So that was a great deal. Like I said, as soon as I get home, I'm gonna pull everything out and kind of show you what we got. And then I'm gonna have to find a spot for it because <laughs> I don't have a pantry. We've never needed a pantry because we don't buy in bulk, but I did not realize how much money you could save by just buying things in the bigger bulk. So I'm super excited. Now we're here at Sam's getting gas because you can get gas cheaper. So Chase is all about it. So we're like Sam crazy today. <laughs> we're just gonna do everything we ate there, we shopped there, and now we're getting gas. <laughs> okay guys, we made it back home. I'm gonna show you real quickly everything we got and about how much we paid for it for any of you guys that are interested. I know not all of you are, and I promise there'll be more to this vlog than like Sam's, <laughs> but we did wanna show you. Oh, and I'm gonna do a try on haul with all the clothes I bought there, and Chase was able to find the link so I can actually link those for you guys. So let me show you what we came home with. Okay, our first find you guys saw were these orange chairs and they actually come in a lot of, I think it was five color choices. Um, and I linked these, I'll have these down below in my description box because um, we were able to link them as well, but they're like a good size. They're not like the teeny tiny ones. Yeah, they're really good size. I was gonna say, Chase, how tall are you? Six one. He's six one and you can see like how high the back comes up. Normally they're like down yeah, low. Yeah, our older ones were way down here so it wasn't comfortable at all and the arms didn't come out as far. And these are padded. Yeah, they're like padded. It's got either a cup holder nice. or a phone cold. holder until tiger's excited yeah. we're back but we grabbed two of those just because we sit outside a lot and go to different events um and those were 22 yeah 22 so those were a really good, good deal. deal i'm gonna have to have you help me with prices so stay around okay. okay this was toilet paper and let me see 45 rolls remember how much we paid for those 18. So $18, I'm curious to see how long this lasts. Um, I'm gonna organize all this and put it up so you guys can see me here in a second. Um, our neighbors always grab these burgers. And they are so good. And I think, yeah, this came with 18 and it was around 15 bucks. Yeah, 15. Super good deal, can't wait. And they just stay in the freezer. So then they're just in there until you need them and then you can pull them out. Um, this was one of the samples that they were giving out and they sold us on this. I would never have bought this, but we've got two big containers. I wanna say it was right around eight. Yeah, 798. 798, that's super good. I'm just gonna heat these up for lunch. Like I'll just put it into a separate bowl and make that for lunch. Um, I picked this up for dinner one night. This actually says the price. It is 9.98 and you just heat it up and it's um, meatloaf and mashed potatoes. It's like two servings of the meatloaf. Two, two servings, yeah. So that'll feed me and Chase. Chase loves these. Um, That's peanut butter crackers. Peanut butter crackers. There's a ton of them. How much do you pay There's for that? There's 40 of them. Uh... I'm trying to look. Seven dollars, six How much for my honey buns? I love these things I think those for breakfast. Same price too. So that was around seven dollars. Um, I normally buy downy, but this was just such a good deal. This is a huge container. It's a hundred and ninety-seven loads. How much did we pay for that? I'm gonna say it was around 12 or seven. It's a uh, 7.98. 7.98. So I hope that works out really well because I really like it. The pizza was six. 6.99 and it's a big size, uh, 16 inch. Paper towels, $17, for $17, but they're 15 mega rolls. And I love these individual sheets because I feel like you don't use as many. So I got to find a place to put that. Our water was only $2.98, right? Yeah. For 40 bottles. Holy moly, that was a really good deal. And then we love pop. You guys make fun of me when I say pop. That's what we call it. So we got Coke. 10.68 for 35. For 35. So that's all that. We also got tigers and their dog food we showed you and that was a huge savings. And then I bought all these tops, these two jackets and these tops. So I'm gonna try those on for you just real fast. 
Okay, and here is one of the jackets I bought. I think this is just such a good color. The one I wore last year was getting holes in it because I bought it from Ross. It was not near the quality this one is, and I think I even paid $30 for my Ross one. This was $25, and like I said, I have it linked down below in my description box. Super, super nice quality. I love, it's like the side zip, which I think super cute and trendy, but I like that I can still wear it open and it's not like lopsided. It's got good pockets. It's even got like a little bit of stretch material here that's not leather and then it's leather again in the back. I just think, look at this, like it dresses up my casual outfit just so well. This is like one of the best deals I got. I'm so excited we went and found this piece. Let me try on the black one for you. Okay, now here is the black one. I love this one just as much. It fits exactly the same, nice and roomy. It's got that panel again and then leather in the back. And just for a size reference, I typically buy mediums. I like to size up a little. I feel like I'm a medium. I'm not a small, I'm not a medium, I'm right in between, but on most things I go up because i rather it be, you know, a looser fit than tighter, but I did get smalls in these, so if you guys order them, um, I went with the small just so you guys kind of know, but these are my favorite. You guys will be seeing me wear these all fall and all winter long, and they were only 25 bucks, and the link is down below in my description box. Okay, here's like a really comfy sweatshirt. I bought a medium, everything else I bought mediums in, because they're more like t-shirts and I like them to cover my high knee when I wear leggings. Um, this is like the softest material. Like I should have bought more and I'll probably go back now. Do you remember how much, I want to say this was either 10 or 13. Yeah, I think that was 10. Um, they have all different colors in them. Like I said, I'm probably gonna go back and grab another one. I bought a medium, super cute, super comfy, great with leggings. I cannot believe Sam has like, I've been looking for fall clothes everywhere and couldn't find any. Who knew I just had to go shopping? I've always heard they have good, um, you know, clothing for yeah. men and women and so. kids. This is just a good, cute, little comfy look for all you stay-at-home moms. Okay, here's my next top, and I actually bought this in two different colors. Once again, there's a medium. I feel like they're a little bit more of an active look. It's got like that thumb that you can put through, which is really cute. I can try this on with another jacket to show you what it looks like when you leave that connected. But once again, it is just super comfortable. Um, I have a t-shirt on for my other one. You wouldn't have to do that, so it would kind of like cut up right there, but I just think it's a super cute look. I'll try on the other color real fast just so you can see it, but this is the gray, and then I think they call my next color the black. Okay, here is the last look. So this is that same top, but it's in like, it's called a black, but it's like a dark gray. And this is how you can wear it with a jacket even. If it's super cold, you can put your thumbs through, or you can take it out and just wear it like a normal short. But I just think these are such good basics. These are just nice basics. You can throw them on with jeans or yoga pants and then put on the nice leather jacket with it and you look put together even though you feel like you're wearing pajamas. So I just think that's a super, I've got lint on me from all this, but love, love, love these. And like I said, the links will all be down below in my description box. I'm so able I was get those for you guys. If you had to pick one, I would definitely pick up one of the jackets and then one of these tops because I think you can wear them so many different ways, but I love, 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 love them. Okay, just a little clothing tip. I like to keep all my new clothes together before I've worn them, just so when I'm looking for something to wear, you know, those aren't really at the top of my list now in my head because I haven't worn them yet. So I like to keep them up here together and then as I work them into my outfits, <laughs> I know like I can file them back into these sections and know what I'm looking for. But at the beginning, I just like to keep like all my new stuff together. Okay, now on to this. Chase is putting as much bottled water and pop as he can. I need to work on, these are just gonna go to your work, right? Yeah. Okay, so I've gotta work on paper towels and toilet paper. Okay, so this turned out really well. 
I mean, I need to do laundry. That's why I only have three towels there. But up top, we all have a stockpile. So if we ever need paper towel, not paper towels, and toilet paper, it's already there. But like I was mentioning earlier, I like to keep just three. I need to get baskets for them. I just haven't found like near enough baskets that fit on there. Um, but it is just nice knowing if we ever need them, it's just right above us. Okay, now I got all the um, toilet paper put away. The next thing I'm gonna work on are my honey buns. A lot of you guys asked me how we make it without a pantry. Typically, I just buy per the week. I don't buy in bulk, but I'm learning you can get such better deals that way. So I do have this cabinet behind me if you guys are new. And I use this mainly as our pantry. As you can see, I have like clear bins up there and we keep the majority of like our food and snack foods up there. But our island is a huge lifesaver as well. I've got tons of drawers in here. I like to keep these bins from the Dollar Tree and keep food items in them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of these into this bin and then I have them just tucked away down here at my island. And then that was the perfect size container. And then I can just stick it down here with our other snack food. And it's tucked away just like that. Okay, we completely forgot to tell you how much we spent. So on everything we bought, you saw like dog food, all my clothes, Savannah, oh, I didn't show Savannah. Savannah got like three pairs of shorts, a shirt and a dress. Um, and then everything else, we've spent $350, which seems like a lot, but you gotta think, we got like our big lawn chairs. I got two like leather jackets. I don't know, I feel like we did really well and we're not gonna have to buy like paper supplies or paper products for like a really, really long time. Even some of our dinners are bought up because we bought 18 um, hamburgers. And like if we eat, it's only like two or three of, like we'll only go to two or three of those at a time because it's Chase, me, and Savannah. So I feel like we did really, really, really well, but I'm exhausted. Okay, so I've just been editing a video for this upcoming Sunday. Definitely don't miss it. I have a really fun cleaning video coming out that you don't want to miss, but we're just now, it's 4.45 and we're both ready for dinner. So let me show you our fancy dinner. So I'm having half of a um, wrap from Chick-fil-A that I had yesterday for lunch. Um, if you're ever at Chick-fil-A, they have really good wraps and you can eat one and get full. This is the sauce I get, um, but they have all different kinds, but it's just really good. And then I save the other half for the next day. I'm gonna have it with chips. And then um, over here is my peach tea. I normally do Olive Garden, but it's got a lot more calories in it. So when I'm at home, I try to do this Crystal Light peach tea and it comes with all these packets but I'm out but all you do is stick it in um you know some type of what do you call that pitcher and add water and mix it and that's it um really really healthy option and it tastes good and then I do my olive garden peach tea when I'm actually there or we're having people over and Chase is having a mini leftover uh, mashup green beans mashed else? potatoes grilled chicken basically we're just trying to like get all the leftovers out of the fridge and then the games are on so we're gonna go later and pick up like chips and salsa and eat that during the game so we're, basically we're just snacking mm -hmm. for the evening yeah. this is my version of cooking <laughs> I was gonna say, this won't fill me up so yeah. i'll be eating more for sure and this won't either yeah. so this won't last long since we're eating it those full. are pretty filling though still. they are it just won't last me until like late tonight yeah. but and then there's the new guy over there i don't know where's tiger oh right here oh he's over here by the food he knows where to go. Okay, so it's totally the next morning. I didn't vlog anymore last night. We just weren't doing a lot. It was kind of an off day and I spent most of the day um, working on this Sunday's cleaning video. So we're gonna go ahead and go in today. We're getting around for church. So let me show you what I'm wearing today. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing to church. It's like a gray top. I actually picked this up at Walmart and it was less than 15 bucks. So I'll leave the link down below and they had different color options if you wanna look them up. And then I put on my black. They're like jeans, um, Spanx. And they're a little bit of an investment, but you will feel and look so much better in them. I'm so thankful I bought these. I bought this and like a normal denim pair um, last year. And then I just have all my sandals. I'd love to have like boots on, but it's just still like humid and summerish here. It is not fall, but this outfit would be cuter with boots, but I will literally sweat if I put them on today. <laughs> So it's this guy's nap time, if you can tell. But we have to leave for church, so he's gotta go out and go potty. But he does hey, not buddy. wanna wake up. Hey, buddy. George. You gotta go outside. 
Go Tiger, outside. wake him up. Tell him to get up. Wake him up. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I see you. Hi, sweetie. Oh, I know. I know. You don't want to go out, but you got to try. We're going to be gone. You can come back in and lay down. You want to go outside? Want to go outside? Let's go outside. Come on. Awesome. I know, it's tough getting up. Come on, buddy. Come on, good boy, George. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we are home from church. I didn't really vlog any of it because I show it in a lot of my other vlogs. So if you guys ever want to see it, you can go back. I have like going to church with me. But um, my pastor is doing a really cool message right now. And so I always link it down below in my description box when I talk about it because you can actually watch it online. Plus, we have campuses like all over the United States. So I'll leave all that link down below. And I'll actually link probably the message through YouTube. They have a YouTube channel. It's just easier for you guys to click on and watch that way. But this morning I didn't really have time to do a speed clean and I feel like everything needs to kind of be wiped down. I need to start some laundry, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. George is over here watching me do laundry. He's such a sweet boy. You watch your mama do laundry. Tiger's in there eating a bone. Yeah. Good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Both of you. <laughs> this is what I use as my tripod sometimes, just so you guys know. That's why that's sitting there. Sometimes it's just easier to set it on a table than like hook up my camera. So, oh, I also wanted to talk to you guys before I clean up my kitchen. Um, we bought this while my mom's lab was in town. Plus, we had three dogs in here, so it just helped. But it's like an air purifier. This is not sponsored. We picked it up from Walmart. It made such a huge difference, and there's different settings, but I felt like it took the dog smell out. It's good for, like, smoke. Even, like, when Chase is cooking bacon or something, I feel like it helps just get the smell out quicker. So I'll have him. Will you link that for me? Yeah. Can you I hate said bacon. Because nobody likes to smell like bacon. <laughs> I don't like my house to smell like bacon or eggs. It's so hard for me to cook, cook eggs or bacon in the morning because she doesn't like the smell of them. It lingers for the rest of the day. I don't even mind if it's just the morning while we're eating, but... I'll just put this thing right next to the yeah. stove. Over here. This is our new best friend. I wish it was in white, but it's not. But it's pretty big, so you can kind of tell. But it is my new best friend. And it puts off cold air, just so you know. I think it's really neat. There's like a sleep setting. Um, it can turn. There's like lights down at the bottom. Um, but it puts off cold air. So if you're like used to a fan or something, you can angle this at you. I don't know. The dogs love sitting in front of it because it kind of cools you off.
gonna show you last night I walked into our bedroom and we keep our door shut now just because of George with like potty training and stuff but um, I was taking photos for Instagram like showing those outfits and linking them and I was like Chase will you just move the paper towels I don't care where you put them I just don't need them in the back of my picture so anyways we went to bed really late and I opened up the door they were completely over our bed and our floor and all of that so I had to put them away and I thought you guys might be wondering so let me show you what I did with them Okay, my washer's on, so sorry if it's kind of loud. Um, I used to have these out in my kitchen, but I brought them in here for all the dog stuff. So this is like treats, obviously grooming and bones, so I can just come in here and grab it. I know somebody would ask me about that, but it's just nice having it here. So I opened up eight of them. So there's like two layers of them, and these are the ones I can actually reach and grab. And then if you look up at the top, <laughs> I've got them lined. Now up here, I didn't open them up because I thought they might get dusty, and I have no idea how long they'll be up there but we definitely do not have to worry about buying paper towels anytime soon and it just feels so good I don't know why it gives you like a sense of security but it does but that is so nice okay so here's a little sneak peek of Sunday's cleaning video So it's a really good, um, it's a fall deep clean with me. I love how it turned out. I worked on it all day yesterday, like I was saying, and um, the dogs are just hilarious in it, especially George. I've never really filmed a cleaning video with him in it. Now you guys saw, not last week, so that was the marathon cleaning, but the week before that, I was still hiding George from you guys, but I had to film a cleaning video. And so I got to film the majority of it while he was napping, and you guys saw how he naps. He like didn't bother me but at the end he woke up and he was walking into every scene it was so hard to edit that video it was so funny I had to keep like editing stuff out so you guys wouldn't see him so I'm so glad you guys know about him now so I don't have to like hide him but this is ready to go for Sunday um, I'm trying to think what else we're gonna do I don't know if we're gonna cook tonight we're gonna hang out here I do need to like vacuum and work on my floors later I feel like all I do is clean my floors now um, and I think it's because it's been raining a lot and when tiger comes in and out there's there's like paw prints but they're small and not as many where I swear George's paws are like sponges and they just like soak up the water and then like leave muddy paw prints and he's more likely to go in the mud like when he sees the rain he wants to go play in it and he wants to find the dirt so I'm not kidding when I say you know I'm mopping my floors at least two or three times a day hey Tiger you coming in here so I've got to work on that later um it's just now 3 30 so we have a little ways to go but that's what's going on right now Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start dinner, and this is that meal we picked up from Sam's. I'm so excited to try it. It's just a meatloaf with mashed potatoes. So it says you put it onto a pan and cover it with foil, and then we have to put it in the oven for 45 minutes on 425, but it looks really good, and it's really good serving size. Like, it's really big. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I cannot wait to try this out. I forgot to show the beginning, but we loved it. And actually, I have some left. So this was only 10 bucks. So I thought it was going to be like $5 for each of us. But we both only had half of our meatloaf. And we still have mashed potatoes. So really, this is going to make four meals. So that makes it just like two fifty a serving, which I think is a really good deal. We'll definitely be getting this one again. Okay guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. We're just doing like a really lazy Sunday, so we're not going to be doing much of anything else. I've got to switch out the laundry, but that's about it. Um, don't forget to head on over to Caitlin's channel. I have her link down below in my description box, and like I mentioned before, she will not disappoint. You guys will absolutely love watching her. And if you're new or coming over from Caitlin's channel, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please subscribe and turn on that notification button. Bell. I don't have a set schedule right now. I'm posting two to three times a week. I'm just trying to figure out what works best with YouTube right now. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Keep on doing what you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do, doing what you do, doing what you do, doing what you do, doing what you do. Do what you like, do what you like.